Hello, everybody. How y'all doing? Thanks for coming. Hello, Dallas. I would like to introduce to the stage Raimundo Broussard. Yo, Raimundo, H-Town in the house, yeah. Thank you, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks a million times. That right, and we hooked up and went out to a hole in the wall right. We start having a little drinks, so we're drinking and sipping, then she turns around and asked, are you doing okay? I said yes, she's still drinking and dancing, and having a really nice time, she's doing her thing, then she looks over her shoulder again and asked, are you good? I said yes I am, at that time the drinks start kicking in. My legs starts move, I'm like watch out y'all, I don't have a dance flow, and let me tell you from my knees down I'm white. So my legs are going one way, and my body is going another way. <laughs> this time my knees are connecting with other people's knees, now everybody on the dance floor is on the floor. <laughs> so I quickly moved back to the side of the dance floor, pretending to be a wallflower. Everybody's looking at me, I'm like, I can't see you. So after about a minute, everything is back to normal, drinking and dancing. I'm just rocking side to side, like white people do. Right? <laughs> She's really having a good time twerking. She started pouring more drinks. And she asked again, You good? I said yes, but a voice in my head <laughs> said tell the truth. And I said actually I'm not. No I'm not good. Because I am in the devil's house. <laughs> and her eyes got this big. The voices in my head said put the drink down on the table. And look for the nearest exit. I started looking around then I seen a sign that said exit and a voice in my head said run to it. So I took off running and exited out the exit door, and I start running down the street, and running and running and running. I ran to the first church I seen, I start knocking on the door, hello, hello, is anyone there? Then I seen a sign that said service starts at 9am, and I looked at my watch, and it was only 12.30am, so I decided to sleep on the front step of the church. I was like, I'll be the first one at service on Sunday morning, in the morning they were praising, dancing worshipping and speaking in tongues. I wasn't afraid, I wasn't scared, cause I was in the Lord's house. But when I was in the devil's house, I was nervous and scared. People were moving around like they were possessed by demons. I was in a devil house, and my discerning spirit knew something wasn't right. The Holy Spirit took over my legs and lead me to church. I feel good in the Lord's house. I remember after my sister's funeral. During the reception, my cousin said at the funeral people were talking in tongues, I was so scared. I was very surprised because I grew up in a holy holy church, where people, be hollering, and screaming, when they praise, they praise. So when people are speaking in tongues, I was comfortable with it. But I guess when you have something in you, that ain't right, the spirits will get to moving trying to get you out the house if it ain't the right house. Like when I was in the devil's house, the club, the hole in the wall. My spirit couldn't stay still, no matter how bad I tried to hold it in. But the people could see something in my eyes, something just wasn't right, that's why she kept asking me. Are you okay? I said are you okay? Because she saw something that I couldn't see. It was the spirit trying to lead me to the right house cause I walked into the wrong house. Hallelujah, Amen, thank you God, for leading me to the red house. Now I want to lead you to the red house, yes the right house. I want to see y'all in church this Sunday. That's right all of y'all. Hallelujah praise the Lord. Amen.